What's going on you guys and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Um, yeah, I'm pretty psyched to be here. YouTube's been on my mind for some time now. Um, so I thought, uh, you know what, let's just get started with some videos. And for this video and for the next few videos, I want to focus on the solid design principles, uh, which is a common thing to understand as a software engineer. And it's kind of um, expected of you to understand, um, yeah, or to have like at least some idea of it. Or if you're like a university student or college student uh, and you just, yeah, you need to learn that for an exam, then I hope this video um, is of some help. Um, I don't want to go too much into theory. Um, theory is one thing and applying it is another. I kind of just want to double down on applying it with some very simple examples. Um, yeah, and like the code that we'll write today um, and for the next few videos will be in Python. Um, and so, yeah, if you're capable of translating it over into a, another language, then by all means. Um, but yeah, you can follow along or you can check out the GitHub um, link that I put in the, in the description. So all the code that I write today uh, and over the next few days, and it'll just be there. Yeah, so to start with the single responsibility principle or the S in solid, um, that the single responsibility principle comes from um, Robert C. Martin, and he states that, um, or the principle is, a class should have one and only one reason to change. And what that means is uh, a class uh, should just be responsible for the role it has. Um, like in um, the real world, for example, a human is responsible for speaking, uh, it ha can speak, can eat, um, or they can eat, or they can sleep. However, they cannot fly. So if we were to create like a real world representation of a person um, uh, use, uh, through object oriented programming, then like we wouldn't implement something like fly because a human can't fly. If they want to fly, then they might have to go into a plane or a helicopter that is responsible for flying. And so for this one, we'll use like a fairly simple example, uh, which is that of a cat. So um, to start off with, um, let's first create a food bowl. And this is basically just a bowl where the cat eats from uh, and the, the value is associated, it's associated with is let's say like 10 being like, the, like 10 pieces in the food bowl. And then let's just create the cat, uh, which again is like very simple. Um, we won't go too fancy with it. It'll have a name. That's really it. And uh, yeah, just the basic stuff we will create in the constructor. We'll give it a food level. Level, level. Um, and we'll set that to like 30. Um, so it could just be a value between 0 and 100. Um, and um, we'll give it a cleanliness level, which I hope I've spelled that right. Um, yeah, and let's say like the cat is like, again, between the cleanliness level being like between zero and a hundred. And let's say it's like somewhat clean. Um, cool. And so we'll just give it some responsibilities. So we'll say def meow, um, where just the cat can meow. Um, and let's say it can eat. And when we when the cat eats the food level, just let's say increments by ten. And um, yeah, like that's really the cat right now. Like it's pretty standard, but this is the stuff a cat can do. Um, if we're taking the cat from the real world, uh, so we can just um, set the cat up, give it a name of uh, I don't know, Fred the cat and uh, we can just do cat dot uh, meow like that so if we run this now if I'm in yep so Python 3 single responsibility principle and we get meow um, cool yeah and so we can also uh, just do like cat um, like eat and we can just check the um, yeah, like, like yeah, I, there's no need to like go into that, but like uh, this works fine. We are like 
we're holding true to the single responsibility principle in that like uh, we're doing what a cat is responsible for. Like we could have something like deaf uh, sleep. Um, we can just say uh, like the cat's name self thought uh, name is now sleeping. But the point is like um, a cat can do this. It can sleep. It can eat. It can meow. Um, but yeah. So now I, um, or what we're going to do is we're going to break the single responsibility principle. Um, yeah, so let's say we just had a comment in here, breaking SRP. Um, so we're going to do um, prepare food bowl. So like, yeah, unless you have like a very smart cat, Cats shouldn't be able to prepare a food bowl. Um, like that would be the responsibility of like the owner, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but we're break what we're doing though is breaking the single responsibility principle because we're giving the cat like some, a role or giving it some functionality that it shouldn't be responsible for. Um, so like, yeah, we can just do food bowl. Um, we can increment this by like 10. Um, and yeah, like a cat shouldn't be able to do that. Um, another one, like, I guess, I don't know, like, I guess cats can clean themselves, but like, you can't take like a shower if cats take showers. Um, so if we do like shower, self, and then, um, yeah, we can do self.clean and just increment this by like some value. So like this again, is something that the cat can't, cat can't do. So we're breaking the SRP, uh, or we're breaking SRP again, um, as a cat shouldn't be responsible for taking a shower. Now to kind of avoid this, um, or to uh, fix this, uh, or fix what we've done, um, we can create like an owner. So for now, we'll just do that. Uh, one thing I just want to mention is, um, so the the reason why like the single responsibility principle uh, is um, a very important one is because um, let's say you're working in a team and let's say like you're using this example of a cat. Um, you've, you've just created this cat and you've added these methods, um, prepare food bowl and shower. If another developer sees that, um, they're going to think, oh, okay, like, um, this seems correct, like as it's been implemented and it will just give like the wrong idea of what that class is. Um, so usually like, um, I guess, um, you'll have some documentation that says, yeah, cat can meow, eat and sleep, uh, and do all things that cat is responsible for in the real world. And then you've gone ahead and added this. And so like, this will be like very bad. Like if you're working in a large team. Uh, as someone will see this and think, oh, wait, okay, this is some functionality that I didn't expect. Um, and yeah, it could, like, if you're working on a very complex application, like, forget the cat for a second, uh, and you have, like, I don't know, an emailing feature, uh, an email shouldn't be able to call a person, like, it sends emails. It doesn't, like, call that person like a phone does. Uh, and so someone might then implement that email with that calling function uh, or that phone call function and yeah, stuff can break, tests can break, and um, yeah, that's this is a good way to keep everyone um, on the same page. I think that's what the solid design principles do anyway, is to just keep everyone on the same page and have a common understanding of the objects that you're writing or the classes that you're writing. Um, so yeah, so to carry on with this, um, we're gonna now fix the um, uh, the 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 what we introduced, like the, the breaking of the single responsibility principle. So like just to state, um, the owner uh, is the person that takes care of the cat. Cool. Or of a cat. So uh, yeah, we can skip the whole constructor. Um, however, we can um, create like a, um, a method that um, prepares a food bowl because the owner is responsible is responsible for uh, create uh, for uh, preparing the food bowl for the cat, 
Um, we could probably implement this as a static method, but we'll just leave it as it is. Um, and in fact, yeah, well, let's just do that. Um, and so the food bowl uh, is, gets like, a, yeah, increments by 10. Um, and we can do, to, rem to fix this um, shower, uh, method um, we can do static methods um, find the method uh, clean cat um, and this just basically it will take the cat and it will just cat dot pendulous I will increment that by 30 cool so um, I mean, like, yeah, to just go back before creating the owner, like, these still work. I mean, uh, it's not something that, like, the computer will pick up and say, oh, no, like, you're breaking the um, single responsibility principle. That's something more of a human uh, error, uh, if that makes sense, uh, that you should be aware of and not to do things like that, like make adding uh, functionality to a class that shouldn't be responsible for it. Uh, yeah, sorry if I'm <laughs> repeating myself a lot. But it's, yeah, the purpose of uh, this principle. Um, so yeah, I'll comment these out for now. Um, but it will be in the code, uh, in the repo. So now we can basically do, um, we can create cat, which is cat, call it Fred. And we can create an owner, um, which is basically owner equals owner. And now, like, if we want to prepare the food bowl, the owner um, prepares food bowl for the cat to eat, or the owner um, we can do clean cat, and we can pass in the cat itself. So if we run that now, like, yeah, nothing happens. But we can see now if we uh, print the cat. Um, so we do. Cat clean level is cat dot um, yep, cleanliness level, and then we can clean the cat and we can print this again. So, yeah, we've done uh, originally the cat is has a level of 50, which we set it uh, here. And um, then the owner cleans the cat, and we then, yeah, just to check that the cat's been cleaned, uh, we see that, yeah, the cat's cleanliness level is now at 80. Cool, yeah, so that is the single responsibility pr principle. Um, I hope, like, this uh, example has given you an idea of, like, how it works and when you break it, or, like, yeah, the ideas of how it can break. Uh, with this very, I think, very trivial, trivial example. Um, but uh, yeah, like hopefully it can translate into other uh, apps that you're working on or um, just give you an overall understanding of how this works. Yep. Thank you very much for watching this video. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.